What's going on everybody? We are here to bring you some more content and details that you definitely need to know in order to be able to optimize these positions. What we're going to do is we're going to focus in a couple of details on the scissor sweep from the closed guard the way that I like to do it. Also, we're gonna throw in what happens after the scissor sweep, which is for you to be able to properly mount and also potentially finish an R-bar. And then we're gonna... To throw in what happens after the scissor sweep which is for you to be able to properly mount and also potentially finish an R-bar and then we're gonna do a little bit of a flow so that you guys can see a nice progression so we're gonna go scissor sweep to mount to arm bar finish and we are gonna divide it into a couple of different parts so we'll probably have maybe one or two three parts most everything that I teach you guys is jujitsu from the source so I want you to know that because we are truly grateful to be under an iconic lineage, that being Master Carlos Machado. So here we go, without any further ado, scissor sweep from the closed guard. All right, so you guys gotta keep, keep in mind that whenever you're doing the scissor sweep, you have to be able to get your right hand into that cross collar, all right? And you have to get it deep enough to where you basically have a choke. How do you do that? I need to break my partner's posture down, okay? So as Charles is here, he has, has good posture. He's, you know, has his hands on the belt, so I can't just pull him down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, grab the collars high, and I'm gonna spur my legs. I'm gonna walk, walk, walk up the back, okay? And I'm gonna break his posture down as my left hand and right hand, I'm spreading it out so that my right hand can let go and get that collar grip, okay? I need to have this deep enough so if I want to or have the opportunity, I can always finish the X choke, okay? The next situation happens is, is that this is my free hand. The hand in the collar is 50% of the choke. The free hand is the other 50%. If I complete this hand, I complete the choke. But Charles, he is blocking my bicep, okay? If I come over, he's blocking. I try to get under his elbow, he's blocking. I come over, he's blocking. So from here, I'm constantly pressing an attack which enables me to use my left hand to get a hold of a seam, okay, with a three finger, kind of like a judo grip right here. And my right hand is stiff so that I can push him over to my left, okay? My left hand pushes his elbow down to the hip. Charles, keep your head up. And I'm gonna scoot out so that my right knee goes on the inside, just below my right wrist, right here, okay? I have my right hand pulling and I have my left hand pulling right here. As I lift them up, I sweep, okay? And my hips immediately connect to his hips, okay? If you notice here, my right hand's still in the choking position. My left hand has his arm. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use this right spur on his far hip. My left knee, which you can't see, but we'll do from a different angle, is spurring into his right hip. And as I am corkscrewing onto him, my chest rolls onto Charles's arm, okay? So that I'm controlling it here and I can get into the position where I have the ability to finish the X choke if indeed that possibility arises, okay? But one thing that I just want you guys to know is what I'm not doing, I'm not coming up on my knees into a scissor sweep where I am relieving the pressure off of him because I need to do whatever I need to do in order to make my partner feel uncomfortable because this is what triggers his movement. Okay. Now, it was very, very nice of Charles to adjust his gi, although what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up because you have to kind of create the reality that, hey, you know, we were rolling and, you know, the gi's all loose. Because when it's actually fitted and it's perfectly done up, it's a lot more difficult to actually get the grips right here, okay? So once again, Charles has good posture right here. He's not letting me break his posture down. 
I got good same side grips here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spur, as Master Machado calls, his legs. And I'm gonna bring one down here. And I'm gonna clamp. Notice how my hips are moving, moving, moving. When you actually break his posture down, you're gonna open up the elbows. It's like I'm opening up this way because that collar on the back of his head keeps his head down just for that slight moment right here as I let go with the right. And even when if he postures up, I have a grip on the right there, okay? But he did the right thing because he's blocking the bicep because he knows that he can't let me complete that choke. From here, I'm still pressuring kind of here. He's pushing back in. My left hand, you find that seam right there, okay? You find the seam and then you get that three finger grip right here and then you open it up. If you notice, you're opening it up as your thumb drives you down and it gets tied around his arm, okay? From here, what I want to do is I want to move my hips, okay? If you notice, I use my feet in the guard and I move my hips off to the right side as I'm pushing him off to my left side. And my left hand pushes his elbow down so I break his structure down, okay? From here, I keep stiff arming my right hand as my right foot comes up as I bring my right knee just below my right wrist if you look right here, okay? This is very important because with my left grip and my right grip, I'm gonna pull his whole shoulder into my knee and I'm gonna extend that knee away. For self-defense purposes, okay? My left foot's on his hip. Charles, can you slap me in the head? Good. He, can, he can't really reach me, which is really what I want because obviously we want jujitsu first and foremost to work for self-defense, okay? Now, another option, what I wanted to show you guys from this angle is that oftentimes, you know, your partner or the opponent is gonna be very stable on their knees, okay? So from here, it's gonna be a lot more difficult for me just to all of a sudden spur here and take him over. So I'm gonna put my foot on his knee and I'm gonna pull him with my hands, okay? As I bring his weight up and I'm gonna push his knee with my left foot and I'm gonna kick him over as I still slide in to get them out. From here, I'm going to roll onto his arm, okay? Because I don't want to give up this arm so that I have the option to finish potentially a key lock or maybe even a choke right here. Charles, if you were to move your arm, right arm around to try to save it, what would you do? Yes, exactly. Okay, because from here, I always have the option of letting go the choke and finishing the key lock. I slide off to the right and I bring his arm down. Okay, for obviously proper key lock finish, your head will be down, looking away, and bring it down. Once again, I'm breaking his posture down, breaking his posture. I got the right hand cross collar grip right here. If for whatever reason he's not going to be respecting my grips, okay, I can potentially come up underneath, palm up right here. If my head goes up. I'll finish the choke this way here, okay. If he doesn't respect, maybe maybe he's protecting from my hand from going in, but he's not aware that I can go to the opposite side. Palm down. I bring him down, 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 down. His head goes to the top arm. I finish, okay? Bicep.